Hello and welcome to the Canadian Wants to Know. My name is George. Today I'm going to give you an update on my German learning progress after 55 days. I'll tell you what has worked so far and what hasn't really worked. Let's start with podcasts. Whenever I clean around the house, when I go on a walk or when I take the train to work, I listen to a podcast or audiobook. In order to learn a language, you need to immerse yourself in the language. And when you don't have people to speak with, then podcasts become a really great way to listen to the language whenever you want. So I love podcasts. I can also recommend an Audible account. At the end of my workday, I close my computer and I open up a book. I've got a Kindle. So what I like about the Kindle is that if there's a word that I don't understand, I can click on it and it'll give me a translation automatically. It makes it very, very easy to understand and to get through a book in German. Reading helps me relax and prepare for bed. The problem with watching films or TV series at the end of the day is that the blue light tricks our brain into thinking that it's daytime so that's going to negatively affect our sleep quality. Books, in my opinion, are simply a better option at the end of the day. German grammar. I haven't been as consistent with this as I would like, but what I do is I try to make it as easy as possible to find my German grammar book. I've got the book right next to my computer, so all I have to do is stretch my arm out and begin those exercises. I track my habits. What doesn't get tracked doesn't get done. Each morning I open up the Notion app and I take a look at what are my tasks for the day. Then I go into autopilot and I do the things that I have to do. People often tell me, George, I can't learn English because I don't speak in an English speaking country. I disagree with this 100%. We all have access to the internet. If we want to learn a language, there are so many ways to meet native speakers. And it doesn't even have to be native speakers. It can simply be people who are interested in that language. I started a German club with a few people that I met in a Facebook group. We meet once a week and we talk and we practice our German. Si on veut, on peut. If you want something, you'll find a way to make it happen. So no excuses. Okay, that's it. Let's see what the next 50 days have in store for me. Also, bis nächstes Mal.